Tell me the significance of the jerseys on your wall, Billy. Uh, well, I, I think Hank was just, I mean, he is such a role model for all of us. And, and being an avid Braves fan, to have the opportunity to be around him uh, for just a minute, uh, you know, I mean, why, why wouldn't anybody want to hang Hank on the wall? Um, I thought Roy was, you know, I got to, to know Roy through travel ball. And so I had his uniform, and uh, uh, you know, he was just tremendous. Didn't watch him through his career. Mariano, I mean, greatest closer ever. Uh, Hudson was a fellow redneck who really was just, I mean, we, you know, we were both skinny and little, and, you know, there's no rhyme or reason why we were able to do what we did and, and stuff. And then uh, Barry, uh, he was probably the greatest player I ever played against. And, uh, you know, we had a relationship and we, uh, you know, we enjoyed the competition. Uh, Albert was probably the second best player I've ever played against, knowing that he uh, just was, uh, you know, just his, his profile and how he went about his life being a Christian and just carrying himself and just a great role model, uh, super nice to all my kids and stuff. And then uh, Joe, you know, it was funny because I'd never been to Minnesota. And, you know, I'd never seen Joe even play, but just getting to watch him a little bit was phenomenal. And then, uh, Johan, I mean, Johan, that was a unique experience. Being able to be with him and seeing what it took, what he, the pride he took in, in how he competed. And he, he, was, he was very... He was, he was a lot of fun to be around because he, he was a hard worker. And then, you know, Nolan, I mean, how do you not, I mean, Nolan's everybody's greatest player. And then uh, Donnie Ball. Donnie, uh, I loved him as a Yankee. She'd been in the Hall of Fame. There's another guy. She'd be in the Hall of Fame. So, uh, and then Trevor, probably great, one of the, probably the greatest closer just because of. If I had to pitch with his stuff, I'd probably never get my out. I mean, you have to be good to be able to do that. And then we have this wall over here. Well, these are unique because of like, that, that's what my favorite player ever. And just knowing that uh, another guy should be in the Hall of Fame. Um, one, of the, one of the greatest managers ever. Just. Totally a player's manager. And uh, I met Phil when I joined the, the Braves and me and him sit down in the, the locker room and just talk for hours. Just a super guy. Brooks, just just the most humble person I think I've ever met in my life, just being just being him, talking baseball and loving it and it was fun. It was just fun to be around. And there's nobody ever going to be like Jim Lee. I don't think, I, I think the greatest story I had with Jim was when he was with the Marlins and we were playing and I was brought in in the uh, eighth inning and uh, get through the eighth inning and I had to hit. So I hit this ball and I run, I'm just running down. I make the last out or the second out so I'm running back. And for some amazing reason, Leland walks out and talks to the uh, pitcher, Mark Hunt. And, you know, for no rhyme or reason, I mean, I'm gassed. I mean, it's hot and humid in Miami. And he walks out. I end up going out there. I get the next three outs, and he, uh, somehow we get, we see each other after that, and I'm like, he's like, he, he was just like, well, I had to, I had to take a, to give you a breather. I thought you were going to die. So it was just funny, just, you know, having that conversation. And then just what he, he meant to that fiery manager and just was, I, I love that guy. That's a guy I would play for all day long.